G'day Internet, my name's Jack Atley uh, from twomoresleeps.com. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the uh, Red Giant Magic Bullet Mojo software, which has just been released. We've got a copy of it here and we've just been mucking around with it. I'm going to show you how to make your footage much better in about as much time as it takes me to smoke this cigarette. So, there you go. Red Giant software, Mojo. So what Mojo is trying to do is uh, give that Hollywood blockbuster look to your footage uh, which has uh, coolness in the shadows and a warmth in the flesh tones and this has been able you can achieve this with magic bullet looks and color and colorista and stuff like that but what we've got here finally is uh, just a drop-on plug-in that uh, is like an instant it's going to be a lot cooler looking button so anyway we've got some HDV footage here it's Glenn and Jamie and I've uh, loaded that into a sequence this is just some ProRes 422 proxy footage that I'm working on at the moment and we're going to see what Mojo can actually do. So what we might do is we'll arrange these windows into color correction so we'll go up to window arrange color correction and we'll get up a few scopes and we can see what's happening here. Okay so the first thing we'd probably like to do with a bit of footage is um, after making sure we've loaded it into the viewer is we might uh, put a, a video filter on it we might put color correction three-way so we'll make sure it's loaded into the view and we'll go over to our color corrector three-way. Now we'll look at our waveform monitor here and what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and pull those black levels down just till they just kiss down there. So very carefully over here, very carefully, click, 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 click. Keeping an eye over on the waveform monitor. There we go, it just touches the line there. Got our black levels down. Now if we have a look over here, there's a few illegal colors here. So what we'll do also is we'll just just bring down this just so everything's oh, out of the nasties. So I say click, 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 take your time. Have a look at this histogram. Watch this histogram, watch all that stuff fall out. Okay, doke, so that's about spot on. So straight away we're, we're seeing a bit of an improvement on that footage. It's, uh, it certainly looks a little tiny bit richer and not as flat as it did before. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to drop on the uh, Magic Bullet Mojo filter. And here it is over here. We just installed it like any other plugin. Drop it onto Mojo. Okay, now straight away we see a fair bit of a, a fair bit of a difference in that footage. There's the Mojo off, Mojo on. So it's a bit more crushed, a bit more saturated. Now let's see if we can fine tune this a bit. Let's see over here. Glenn's a little bit of a red dude, and uh, what I'd like to do is is to soften his skin colours out a, a little tiny bit more, and sort of try and get him closer to Jamie whilst putting the background a bit back. So what we have over here is we've got some skin controls here, skin color, skin, skin squeeze and skin solo. But what we'll initially do is uh, click this show skin overlay. And what that's done here is we have a look at Jamie, is we can see that, just make this window, drag this window a bit bigger. How trouble with this wireless mouse today. Okay, okay. so we see here that Jamie's, what, what this is the part of the skin that's being affected by the filter. So basically it's in the effects range. So this is the part of the skin it's being controlled by these parameters here. So it's being controlled by the filter. And what we have here is whilst Jamie's arm's being controlled, Glenn's not being controlled at all and he still looks like a bit of a red dude. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to the skin colour which should uh, we slowly increase that. We start to see that we'll really have to get up here for Glenn start to uh, approach in a, in, a, in a higher gamut, so I've gone a bit too far here. The screen recording is really slowing down my machine at the moment. We're about 24, 22, look at that, and now we've got about most of them within the boundaries of that filter, so we've just sort of fine-tuned that filter a little tiny bit. We'll take off that overlay, and uh, there you go. Now you can um, solo the skin if you want. So desaturate everything really quickly. Uh, you can squeeze it off as well. You can also adjust the mix that you use with with Mojo. You can just sort of, if you know, if you really want your talent to pop off that background, then you can just sort of start to tune that up just a little tiny bit. It's like desaturating a sh shadow, but it's not quite. Um, this is where you mix it. Obviously, how much your real effect and how much Mojo we're going to use. Uh, Mojo, as well as we move this here, it becomes a lot colder and we move it back here it becomes a lot more passive 
So we just sort of get it to a point where we like it. And I'm starting to like it like that. So there you have it. Magic Bullet Mojo. It's uh, let's arrange these windows back to standard. And there you have Magic Bullet Mojo. If we scrub through that uh, footage now, you'll see it looks a lot more interesting than it did before. It's about a two second job. And we've gone from footage that uh, I guess we could say looked a little tiny bit flat to something that looks pretty much ready to put in the bag. Thanks very much. My name's Jack Atley. I'm from twomoresleeps.com.